So, you've been uh, prescribed rosuvastatin. Mm. Maybe you feel a little bit anxious about it. What is this medication exactly for? Well, do I really need it? And what about the side effects? Does it cause muscle pain? Does it cause diabetes? Does it cause Alzheimer's? Is it really a toxic? These are questions that every patient has. And today, we're going to answer them all, uh, one by one. By the end of this video, you will not only feel confident and well-informed about drosovastatin, but will also grasp why your doctor wholeheartedly believes it's worth your while. We'll cover how it works, uh, what to expect, what are the side effects. What's the difference between rosuvastatin and atorvastatin, a very common statin as well? Let's start with the basics so you can feel in control of your health journey and you can make an informed decision. What is rosuvastatin? Let's start at square one. Rosuvastatin is known by its brand name Crestor. And it's a type of statin. And statins are medications that help lower your cholesterol, your LDL cholesterol, so-called bad cholesterol. And are taken by more than 200 million people around the world. And today, we know that statins do much more than lower your cholesterol. In fact, they decrease inflammation, a very important component on the plaque buildup in your arteries. And they actually... Uh, act as a blood thinner, they have an anticoagulant uh, effect. Rosuvastatin helps clear uh, the deposits over time in your arteries, can prevent future heart attacks and strokes. But you talk about low in cholesterol. Is all cholesterol bad? No. In fact, we cannot live without cholesterol. We all need cholesterol because the body uses cholesterol to build the structure of our cell membranes. And cholesterol helps make hormones, estrogen, testosterone, and adrenal hormones, the cortisol, for instance. And it's important on the synthesis of vitamin D and even helps formation of bile acids important for our digestion. And let me give you another tip. The brain represents usually 2% of, of our body weight, however, the brain has 25% of the whole cholesterol in our body. The problem is, if you have too much cholesterol, it's going to contribute to formation of plaques, hardening of the arteries, and get you in, in trouble years later. Why my doctor put me on a statin? So you might wonder, why me? Here's the thing, doctors usually prescribe uh, rose of a statin if your cholesterol levels are very high, and if you have other risk factors, if you have diabetes, you have high blood pressure, you smoke, or you already have a heart disease, coronary artery disease, you had a heart attack, you had a stroke, you had a stent, you had bypass surgery in the past, or you already had a stroke. And under these situations, statins are very helpful to bring down future cardiac events. Here's the issue that's important to understand. The buildup of plaque in your arteries is a silent threat because it takes many years, decades, before it gets you into trouble and reach to a point where you can give you a heart attack or a stroke. I had a professor in medical school many years ago that used to tell us that atherosclerosis, the hardening of the arteries, is in fact a pediatric disease because it starts early on in your teens and it won't give you any trouble for many decades. And this is actually good news because in fact, if we know the plaque buildup starts early on, we have ways of actually preventing it, avoiding heart attacks and strokes in the future. How does rosuvastatin work? Well, rosuvastatin targets an enzyme in your liver that produces cholesterol. By lowering down this enzyme, rosuvastatin reduces the overall uh, amount of cholesterol in your bloodstream and increases the risks of cardiac events in the future. And traditional, we looked at statins as exclusively cholesterol-lowering medications. We know now that they do a lot more than that. They have an important role in decreasing inflammation and even having anti 
uh, coagulation effect. And inflammation is very important, probably more important than high cholesterol in future cardiac events, heart attacks and strokes. Can statins reverse plaque buildup? Yes, there have been several uh, clinical studies that clearly shows that statins in high doses can reverse uh, plaque. And we're referring specifically to statins, the stronger statin, atorvastatin, which is also known as a brand name Lipitor and Rozuvastatin. And if you want to learn more about atorvastatin, watch this video, atorvastatin, what all heart patients need to know, I'll put a link above and on the description below. But clinical studies using ultrasound of the coronary arteries called IVAS, intravascular ultrasound, have clearly shown that statins not only stabilize the plaques, but actually can reverse them. In fact, statins unclog your arteries under certain circumstances. How long does it take for a rosuvastatin to work? You're going to start seeing a lower cholesterol within a week. You may not reach full effects for an entire month. Your cholesterol levels will drop within four weeks, and at that time your doctor may order a blood test and see if he needs to adjust the dose. And what is the correct dose? The rosuvastatin dose comes between 5 and 40 milligrams a day, depending on your circumstances. What's you trying to accomplish? Do you already have heart disease? What's your high uh, risk? You need to know the higher the dose, higher the possibility of getting side effects. How should I take my rosuvastatin? Rosuvastatin can be taken with or without uh, uh, food. And it doesn't matter what time of the day you take it. Usually, uh, statins are taken in the evening because many of them have a, a shorter half-life, meaning that they don't stay in the blood too long. And the body produces the most amount of cholesterol during the night, between midnight and 2-3 o'clock in the morning. But because the rosuvastatin lasts so long in the blood, it doesn't really matter the time of the day you take it. Make sure you take it at the same time uh, every day and you are consistent. And is there any food uh, or drinks or juices that I have to avoid? What about grapefruit and grapefruit juice? Rosuvastatin is not affected by grapefruit or grapefruit juice, contrary to atorvastatin that it is, because rosuvastatin is metabolized by a different pathway that is not affected by grapefruit. You can have all the grapefruit in the world. Who should not take rosuvastatin? Uh, let's be clear, rosuvastatin is not for everybody. If you have severe liver disease, if you are pregnant or are planning to become pregnant, or if you are breastfeeding, if you have um, muscle disease, fibromyalgia, you may not be a candidate for a uh, statin. Let's address a, a common question that patients have. I forgot to take my rose of a statin. What should I do? If you forgot to take a dose, don't panic. You, if you remember later in the day, go ahead and take it as soon as you can. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and go back to your routine schedule. However, do not take two doses of rose of a statin within 12 hours. So if you take, if you remember in the first 12 hours you can take it, beyond that, do not take it. Don't double up because it will increase your risk of side effects. Talking about the side effects, there are some mild side effects and there are serious side effects. A lot of people can have headaches, could have muscle aches, could have some tenderness and cramps, and in some cases some stomach upset. These symptoms usually are mild and go away as your body adapts to the medication. And it's a good idea to keep tabs on your feeling your symptoms, so if they persist, your doctor may have to adjust the dose or even change to a different statin. But although rarely, rest of a statin can cause serious side effects. If you want to watch for very severe muscle pain, uh, weakness, dark colored urine, uh, fevers, this could be signs of a serious condition called rhabdomyolysis where muscles really break down and release toxins and go to your kidneys and causes renal insufficiency, and it's a life-threatening uh, situation. 
And if you notice yellowing of your eyes, of your skin, uh, contact your doctor immediately. It's a sign of severe liver toxicity. What about diabetes? Statins can, in fact, cause diabetes, but mainly in people who are prone to it. They have a condition called pre-diabetes. And what happens, you have diabetes three months earlier than if you are not taking a statin. However, for every person who develops diabetes, you avoid five heart attacks. What about Alzheimer's? It's a myth. Statins do not cause Alzheimer's. However, they can cause some memory issues, but they are temporary and they are not Alzheimer's, and they go away once you stop the medications. And here, rosuvastatin actually causes less than the torvastatin, for instance, because rosuvastatin uh, does not cross the blood-brain barrier as opposed to a torvastatin. Does rosuvastatin interact with any other medications? Yes. In fact, uh, there is a lot of medications that can be affected by uh, rosuvastatin. So even blood thinners, Coumadin, certain antibiotics and antiviral medications used to treat uh, AIDS and hepatitis C and even cholesterol uh, medications, fibrates and niacin. You want to make sure you let your doctor know which medications you're taking and even supplements because they could interfere with statins. And in fact, only a third of people who take supplements tell their doctors about it. Here's another important question that patients want to know. Can I drink alcohol while taking rosuvastatin? And the answer is yes, you can. However, you want to limit to two drinks a day for men, one drink for women. Excessive alcohol intake will damage your liver regardless if you're taking uh, statins or not, but if you're taking statins, will compound the issue. And don't forget, there are other ways of protecting your heart, avoiding heart attacks and strokes in the future besides statins. And to learn more, watch this video, can exercise, lower your risk of a heart attack. I'll put the link above and on the description below. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. And remember, your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.